Jesus, I name my love. All other names above. Jesus, my Lord, all thou art all to me. Nothing to please I see, nothing apart from thee, Jesus, my Lord. Thou blessed Son of God, has bought us with thy blood, Jesus, my Lord. Oh, how great is the love, all other loves above, love that I daily prove, Jesus, my Lord. When unto thee I fly, thou wilt my refuge be, Jesus, my Lord. What need I now to fear? What earthly grief or care? Since thou art ever near, Jesus, my Lord, soon thou will come again and will be happier more than Jesus, my Lord. Then thine own fears I'll see, then I shall like thee be. Then evermore with thee, Jesus, my Lord. Jesus, the name that I love so, so, so very much. Jesus, the name that charms our fears. Jesus, the name that sees sorrows to beat. Jesus, that is ever there. Give him love, so much love, joy, hope, strength. He is all that we have. Everything is what He is to us. We are back to say thank you. We are back to worship Him. We are back to magnify Him. We are back to give Him the praise that is due to Him, to him alone. Because His name is above all other names. No other name is like the name Jesus. When you call the name in prayer, when you call the name in joy, in peace, in laughter, when you call the name in times of distress, in every situation, he is ever there to answer. And so we are back to worship. We are back to say thank you for how he has seen us through, for how he has brought us. Growing up as a Christian, when they say First Thessalonians 5.18, he say rejoice evermore. Praise the Lord. Um, Ephesians 4.6, rejoice evermore. I wonder, I say, ah, this kind of Bible self, <laughs> how could they be like this? How is it possible for one to just be uh, praising God all the time? But as I began to think and to ponder on it, I discovered that, yes, it is good, it is true, it is possible to give God the praise in all situations. Why? Because there is a, a, the coin has two sides. And when you turn it, you see that it could have been worse. It could have been worse. That's why my, psalm, my winning psalm for now is Psalm 124. Someone to first say, see, if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side, then you can begin to imagine what the scenario would have been like. So you give him the praise. Somebody say, oh, but I had an accident. But you're alive. <laughs> and if you're alive, there is hope. You say, oh, I lost all. But you're alive. You can continue. You can make wealth again. The Jews are a, a, a people celebrated all over the world because leave them empty. But just give them time and give them free space. You see that they'll bounce back again. Why? Because there is always hope. Ecclesiastes 9 4 says that there is hope for a living dog than a dead lion. We are not dogs, we are living human beings that God has shown so much mercy. So we join to say, let's praise Him, let's magnify Him, let's exalt Him. 
the year is fast approaching and coming to an end again. The only way forward is to praise him. Take a look back. See how far he has brought you. See how far he has brought me. I am looking. Look at ways we made mistakes. Yes, we learn from those mistakes and move on, press on. Look for opportunities that are abound. I was saying to someone yesterday, I said, read Romans 8.28. And Romans 8.28 says, all things work together for good for those who believe. Some of those things we feel that are challenges, when you look again and you give it time, time is of essence. We see that, yes, of a truth. You make it all things beautiful in its own time. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Achake, General Overseer, Ban of Love Mysteries International. Visit our YouTube channel. We see there are lots of messages loaded for you. Messages that give joy, that give inspiration, that give hope. Messages that reconcile you to your maker. Messages that are all-time classics, the need of the hour. The bloggers are good. They will make you laugh. But visit our channels. You have a lesson to go with. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. Nation building. When you pray. And I pray. Ministers of the truth. The heading of the song we sang is Jesus the name I love. Above all other names. Is Jesus the Lord of your life? If he's not, we here make an invite to you. Because when you allow Jesus into your situation, when you allow Jesus into your boats, when you allow Jesus into your life, when you welcome him in, then I tell you that life becomes sweeter, sweeter, easier, and um, more restful and purposeful. Why do I say this? Because there's so much challenges out there, so much storms out there. But when you have Christ Jesus, the storms don't move you. Isaiah 43 says there, say, fear not, I'm with you. Verses like that begin to encourage you. And they tell you that even though you pass through the waters, you pass through the fire, he's there. He's there for you. So you are encouraged. And you face life challenges with strength. An inner strength that no man gives can give to you but him, Christ Jesus. He is the epitome of wisdom. When you allow him in, he will give you great wisdom. Wisdom that you need, all-time wisdom, to be able to navigate everyday life situations and challenges. It will give you purpose, it will give you strength. There is so much, so much, so much benefit in following Christ Jesus. And so all you need to do to be a partaker of this is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. The minute you say that, that's all. Welcome. Welcome to the club of believers. We believe. We believe. And when you believe, Romans 8, 28, will come to play for you. All things, does not matter what is happening, does not matter what you have done in the time past, all things will begin to work for you for good. So long there is a genuine repentance, there is a genuine turnaround, and there is a genuine receiving of the person of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I show you that your life and my life can never, will never remain the same again. We are on the winning side. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin, have mercy on me. Very simple prayer, but profound because Christ Jesus has paid the price. He was beaten, flogged. The scenario of the Easter season is descriptive of that which we ought to have suffered, but he suffered for us. All we now know, need to do is just to receive Receive the goodness of God. Receive the love of Christ. Having received it, you have need of a book, Bible. Of course, the Android is good if you go offline. I use the offline Android Bible to read because when it's on life, <laughs> but your mind just when you just open it, they begin to show you a lot of images, a lot of things, and you are distracted. So if you must use the Android, go for the offline Android Bible. Get a daily devotional, sit and study through the word. The word is a life transforming ingredient that you need in your life. The word, the word, the word, the word of God. Through the word, live the word, talk the word, act the word. 
on Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building. When you pray and I pray, ministers of the truth. And of course, church on the air. On YouTube, if you type church on the air, our account will pop up. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Overseer, Band of Love Mysteries International. You type the name E-D-I-T-H-A-T-A-K-E, -E, the account will pop up. Church on the air, Band of Love Mysteries International, it will pop up. Like, share, subscribe to our pages. Thank you so very much for streamlining with us. Thank you for listening. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. His continents of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Wishing you a very, 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 very happy, happy new month and a very blessed, happy, most, I don't know, whatever you wish, I wish God to do for you. Ephesians 3.20, exceedingly, abundantly, above your prayer requests, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you.